First you will place the tilt legs at the proper locations. Short legs at the south rail locations and tall legs at the north rail locations. You will now install the U-foot of the tilt leg on the standoffs with the weatherproof cap of the standoff under the U-foot and tighten with a torque wrench. Install the tilt leg in the U-foot. You will slide in the rail the 3 8 bolts for the attachments to the tilt legs and the quarter inch bolts needed for the mid clamps. A good tip is to tape the ends of the rails to stop the bolts from sliding out if you're going to be moving the rails around on the roof. Next you will lay your rail in place and line up the 3 8 bolts with your tilt legs and attach the rail. With the rails mounted on the tilt legs, use a straight edge and place the straight edge across the rails. Adjust the tilt of the leg and rail until the rail becomes flush with the straight edge for both the north and south rails and tighten the legs in the correct angle. Properly torque the rails and legs with a torque wrench to 180 inch pounds. For proper wire management, install the Iron Ridge rail wire clips, two per module. Measure and mark a minimum of 1.5 inches from the end of the rail. Install your first module and align with your 1.5 inch mark at the ends of the rails. Install your end clamps and torque to the required 65 inch pounds of torque. With your mid clamp bolts placed against the opposite side of the first module, install your grounding weeb clip if bonding the module to the rail in your grounding system. And install your next module. Install the mid clamps. If using a battery drill motor, set on a low torque setting and then using a torque wrench tighten to the required 120 inch pounds of torque. Install the end clamps on the final module and tighten to the required 65 inch pounds of torque. For a clean completed project install our rail end caps. 